Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is in continuation with our uh, chapter 4 videos from EDC. And today we'll be discussing example 4.15. Just to recall, we had done fixed bias, example 4.1, then emitter bias, example 4.7, then voltage divider bias, example 4.8, and feedback bias, example 4.12. Now today's question is a feed bias uh, type with little modification. So in all of these, uh, you don't have to memorize the name or the circuit. The simple technique that we have been following is to write two equations. One is the base emitter loop equation, base emitter loop, base emitter loop, similarly here, here, and the other equation is the collector emitter loop, collector emitter loop. So we'll follow the same technique. Now, <coughs> the example says, given the network in this, and the characteristics curve, this one, this is the network, uh, and there are four parts of this question. Uh, draw the load line and determine DC beta. So we'll, we'll do one by one and then we can explain this. And there is a mistake in the book actually. This question, it should not be ICEQ. It should be VCEQ. Okay, so this is the question. We have uh, uh, the um, uh, circuit, we have drawn it without the capacitor because we know that in case of a DC, the capacitors become open circuits. So to, to make it simple looking, this is, was this original circuit. And as I have told in the previous videos as well, that I feel more comfortable in replacing the VCC with a battery so we can write uh, the KVL equation as we have learned in the circuit analysis. So this I replace with the battery and then this is the collector current. I have marked it as IC. This is base current, emitter current and now from here you can see that it is, the current is IV plus IC. IV plus IC. So with this now First of all, we'll uh, write or derive the equations, and then it will become easier to solve the questions. Okay, so the left loop or the base emitter loop will be this. Here, go left, this, and this. So starting from the negative terminal or the ground terminal, negative VCC, plus IB, IB plus IC, RC, IB plus IC, RC, plus IB, and these are the two resistances, RF1 and RF2, plus VBE, and plus IERE. -E. Now, as we did in the previous example, uh, 4.12, we'll assume some of the things. And the first assumption will be that IB plus IC is approximately equal to IC because IB is very, very small. The second assumption will be that IE is approximately equal to IC. Now this current, IC is approximately equal to IE because although in IE there is an IB, but IB being very small, we assume this to be the true. And now putting all these our equations become now minus VCC, this will become ICRC, then this remains same, this remains same, IE is changed to ICRE. Now we have to eliminate IC as well, we just want to find IB from the left loop. So we will use this, IC is equal to beta times IB, so we replace IC by beta times IB. So here and here and now arranging and taking common we get this relation and from here IB will be VCC minus VBE divided by this term. So this is one equation that we'll uh, use. The second is the 
collector emitter loop. So the collector emitter loop again starting from here negative VCC this remains same IVICRC and then we follow in this loop so it is plus VCE and then plus IERE. Same assumption here this will be replaced by IC and IE is also replaced by IA these two assumptions. So sec uh, equation will become like this and further uh, uh, rearranging this is our final equation that we will use. So these two equations we will be using. Now let's come to the question. The question says draw the uh, part A says draw the load line for the network on the characteristics curve. So this was our characteristics curve and uh, we had discussed earlier also that the load line is connecting a point in the IC and another point in VCE. And for that, we'll use this equation. At one time, we'll put VCE is equal to zero and find the value of IC. When VCE is zero, that means we are here, we find the value of IC. And the other, in other case, when IC is zero, so we are here, and then we find the value of VCE, so this point. Okay, so, here if you put VCE is equal to 0 then e the equation will become like this IC is VCC over RC plus RE and now to put the value we bring the circuit back with the values VCC is 36 RC 2.7 and RE is uh, 330 ohm Okay, so plugging in the values, uh, we get IC to be 11.88 milliampere. So IC we have found, now VCE, to put IC is equal to zero in this equation, that means this term will become zero. So VCE is equal to VCC, which is 36 volt. And now we can plot the graph, this was the graph, 11.8 is one of the point and 36 volt is the other point so we'll draw the load line so this is the first part the load line has been drawn now we go to uh, second question determine dc beta in the center region of the characteristics so beta we have to first first of all find and define the chosen point as Q point. So, uh, in the central region, we have to find uh, a, a, a Q point, which will be actually approximate Q point because we don't know exactly what is the center region. So, what we'll do is, apparently, between these two, looks like a center region. So we'll assume a current in between the two, between 20 micro and 30 micro, to be 25 micro. So at this point, we, where it touches the load line, it will be our Q. Now this I'm calling it Q approximate, because we are not sure about the IB. Okay, so with this Q approximate, using IB 25 micro ampere, we can now get the ICQ approximate and similarly VCEQ approximate. We are primarily concerned with this. Uh, this one we extend, it is touching 6.2 milliampere line. So now beta is defined by this formula. We know beta is IC over IB. In this case, we will call it IC. Q approximate and IBQ approximate as well. Both the values are known now, 6.2. Uh, six point two milliampere from here. And the current we have assumed is uh, IB 25 microampere. So beta is 248. So this is part B. And now part C, using the DC beta, calculated in part B, find the DC value of IB. So now we are going to find the exact value of IB. 
and for that we will use the equation that we have derived from the left loop or the base emitter loop. Okay, so this beta we had calculated in the last slide. This is what we had derived from the uh, base emitter loop. So we'll use this value. Again, bringing the circuit and putting in all the values. That is six volt. BBE is 0 0.7, 150, 360, beta is 248, RC 2.7 and RE 330 ohm. Now remember when you are doing calculation, all the other terms are in kilo, but this is in ohms. So you have to be careful. Okay, calculating we find IB to be 28 microampere. So this is the correct IB. We had assumed IB to be 25, but actual value is 28. Okay, and so the final question is find ICQ and VCEQ. Actually, it should have been with the actual IB or with the fine, uh, final value of IB. Anyway, we know now that the IB is 28 microampere and if we try to plot it here it will be somewhere like this so it will be like this line 28 and touching at this with the load line this will be the our real operating point or Q point and extending this on both sides we can find ICQ is about 6.9 milliampere and VCEQ about 15 volt. So 6.9 milliampere and 15 volt is the answer. So I hope you have been able to follow this. Please let me know through your comments. And don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends so they can also benefit. Thank you.